Hey guys, what's going on here? John from, you know, John Bias. Well, I'm here wanting to do a review. I know it's not HD quality video, and I know it's not like one of my normal review videos, but I had to get this one out quick, and because today is June, July, uh, it's August 1st, and the new Slipknot single is out! It's called The Negative One. And I listened to it. I've listened to it about 20 times so far today. And I'm going to tell you my thoughts about this. You can either take it or leave it. And you tell me your opinion in the comments below. Please let me know. I'm also going to be doing a review on my SoundCloud channel. So you can go ahead and check that out. But here we go. Alright. The Negative One by Slipknot. Alright, first of all, when you first hear it, about the first 10 to 15 seconds, you're kind of like, oh, what is this? You know, because you don't initially first hear the drums. The drums are kind of like a fucking DJ drum. It's like, you know, and you don't really hear it. But then once the real drums kick in, dude, that snare fucking rules. I don't care what anyone says, that snare drum rules. But... Considering on the whole song, I really like how they let um, Sid, they let Sid do a lot of shit in this song, and he really, really upped it for them. And the riffs on the song are pretty much just great. They're groundbreaking, they're really great, they're heavy, they're smashing, and it's fully chaotic. Also, what I really like about the song is just the way that it's just performed I mean because you kinda hear a little bit of tattered and torn a little bit and then you kinda hear like you hear like volume three riffs going on and Corey's vocals are kinda like all hope is gone vocals so I, I'm pretty stoked I mean if I had to rate this track if I seriously had to rate it and give it a number I would give it an eight out of ten that's what I would give it and the reason why it's not a 2, I mean, the uh, reason why it's not a 10 is because the 2 that's missing for me, the main thing, and I'm not just judging this just because of this, but here we go. There's two things that are missing from this. Number one, the drums do lack. I will say this, the drums do lack just a little bit. I believe the drums could have been a little bit better, but you know what? I'm not really sure who the drummer is, and I'm a really big Joey Jordison fan, and I will always miss Joey, no matter what. The drums just will never be the same for me. So, but considering the song, considering it's not Joey, it's just kind of lacking for me. Not enough double bass, I could have thought. Also, another thing that's really lacking is Corey's vocals. Now, I know Corey's getting up there in age, and I know his vocals aren't the same anymore. I know, you know, he, he tries to sing more now than he does more than yelling and screaming like he always used to. So I think, you know, just because he's been singing a lot more and doing a lot more Stone Sour stuff, I think that's why his vocals are, ha, has kind of changed. They kind of changed when All Hope Is Gone came out. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm not bashing. I'm not saying that his vocals are extremely terrible. I'm saying... They're just, I think they could have been better. So, but other than that, everything else, the instrumentally wise on that track is amazing. The negative one, just, that's just a cool name itself. And also, the artwork, the cover of the single is really cool. It has an axe just, boom, right there on the cover of it. And you know what? I gotta say, I like, I love the new Slipknot symbol too. It has like the, the red pentagram thing going on. I like that. I really think it's cool. So, I'm pretty excited, you guys. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think about the track in the comments. But for me, I really, really didn't expect to be this good. I really thought we were going to get, like, a bullshit fucking, you know, psychosocial fucking, you know, like a commercial fucking song. They can't play this shit on the radio. Are you shitting me? You really think they're going to play this on the fucking radio? I don't know about that. If they decide to play this on the radio, I'm going to shit. But this is just about, you know, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's more heavy, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I, I really don't think it's radio friendly, but that's a, that's a good thing. 
You know, you don't want it to be fucking radio friendly. You want it to be fucking, just fucking chaos and fucking crazy. That's what you want from Slipknot. You want that Iowa. You want self-titled, and you even want that Volume Three. All of is gone. Eh, you can deal with it, but you really want that crazy ass fucking Slipknot. And you know what? With this single, I believe it, it's either gonna be a hit or miss. Is it, you know, the single is just going to, you know, this could be the heaviest song on the whole record, for all we know. Or this could be the, the fucking, you know, it, every song could be like this. You don't know. But so far, what I've heard, it's really good. It gets a B plus. It gets an 8 out of 10. So that's what I think, you guys. Let me know what you guys think below, but I'm going to be jamming this thing. You know, I'm going to be jamming it. I, I hear a little bit of Tattered and Torn. I hear a little bit of surfacing in it. You know, I, I, I've just been headbanging to it all day long. So I want to thank you, you guys. Please subscribe to my videos. I would really appreciate it. And keep jamming. Maggots forever, man. See ya.